hello beautiful people you are welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here you are welcome please don't forget to subscribe like this video to help this channel out drop a comment share with your friend and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i drop another video so in today's video i'll be teaching you how i ventilated this full lace using air blend it's actually a subscriber that I requested for this video because I have a lot of videos explaining how to ventilate a full lace using attachment but she requested that I should ventilate using air blend and fortunately enough I have another for it so I decided to share the process with you guys and here are the material you need for the tutorial this is the air blend that I use you need a lace tint that's if the lace is white color you need metallic pen you need ventilating pin you need a tape hole and the full lace itself the full lace usually comes with a line which indicates where you will stop. So that's what I'm trying to show you here. To cover the white strap at the back, I spray the lace tint on the lace so that it can be giving me scarf color. So after spraying it, you will allow it to dry. So I'm trying to show you the difference between the one I spray and the one I did not spray here. And I will still show you the one with the black straps at the back. You can see the difference between the three. The full lace is divided into three parts, the back, the middle part and the front part. The front part usually comes with a line which indicates where you will stop. And the back section usually comes with adjustable straps which will be inside when you start your air ventilation. Since the air is the same length, I pick one piece out of it, cut small pieces then cut the rest of the hair just like you are seeing in this video. Then I use my take comb to comb the shorter part out because we only need the longer part for air ventilation. Then I pick small pieces out of the hair, fold it into two and make sure one end is longer than the other so that the full lace will not be too short after ventilation. Then I pinch and twist. I use my hand to bring small pieces out so that I can see the number of hair I want to be working with. Place your net on the mannequin head. Make sure the one with the adjustable straps is inside when you want to place it on the mannequin head because we are going to ventilate over that thick part at the back. Then use your metallic pen to mark like half inch below the thick part at the back. This indicates where your ventilation will stop at the back. After that, you will use your tipping to secure the area you want to be working with so that it will not be pulling up when you start your air ventilation. So I'm using the diagonal method of ventilation here. Instead of following the vertical line, which is the straight line, we are going to follow the slanted line, which is the diagonal method. So pass your pin through the net, bring out the air you want to be working with, wrap your pin through the hair and pass it through the loop. Pass your pen through the net, bring out the hair you want to be working with, wrap your pen through the hair and pass it through the loop. Make sure the hair you are picking is not too much, like two or three strands is okay at the back. So when we get to the front, we change the strand of hair we are using. So you leave one straight line, move to the next, like you are leaving one O, one straight line. So you pass your pin through the net, bring out the hair you want to be working with, wrap your pin through the hair and pass it through the loop. So that's how we continue going. You will leave one straight line when you are done with one line and move to the next. And don't forget not to be picking too much air in one hole because picking too much air in one hole will only make your work rough and it will slow you down. So I'm almost done with the half of the back section here so I will have to fast forward this part because I don't want this video to be too long so I will explain how to ventilate the thick part at the back after that. So to ventilate the thick part at the back you have to take your time because it's not easy to pass the pin through that thick part at the back. And make sure your ventilation reach the line with you at the beginning of this video before you move to the next line. The purpose of drawing that line is to cover the white straps that come with the net. 
so i have to fast forward this part because i don't want this video to be too long here you can see that i try to move the net closer to the camera so that you can see where i'm passing the print through on the net so i'm done with the back section here you can see how neat it is so next thing is to ventilate the middle part you can see that there is a straight line there we are not going to follow the straight line we are going to follow the slanted line just like we did at the back so you pass your paint through the net bring out the amount of hair you want to be working with wrap your paint through the hair and pass it through the loop i'm using three strands of hair at the back and at the middle section because i want the wig to be full and look natural as well so when you are done with the line you are ventilating you will leave a straight line and move to the next so i'm almost done with the half of the middle part here you can see how full and neat it is i normally say this in all my videos if you notice you are tired either you are a beginner or you have been doing this before make sure you take a break you can take take a day or two days off even a week depending on your strength just don't rush yourself if you ask some people how many days they use to ventilate full days some people will say two days three days yes they can use two days or three days to ventilate full days when they are leaving five lines or four lines before they can go to another line so you can't compare it to the one that is leaving one straight line so if you use this method that i'm using just know that if you take your time because this is a normal step with this method you can use it for any style you can use it for beaded you can use this you can install it directly on your head you can pass it to any style you want so i've reached the front section here and i can't lie to you this place is usually confusing when you want to check the diagonal method because if you, if you are not careful enough you will notice that you will end up in vertical line so you have to take your time to look at the net closely you can if, if you get the diagonal method on the net you can just use your metallic pen to trace that line so that it will be easier for you you will know the line you want to be following and one thing i like about diagonal method is that you can use this for any style of your choice you can use it for braided wig you can install it directly like you can pass it to any parts at all without giving ash line before we continue with the tutorial i want to use this opportunity to thank everyone that i'll be supporting my small business thank you so much i really appreciate it. aside the wigs the closure front as full lace ventilation you see on my page that i'm selling i'm also selling wigging and hair ventilation material if i do not upload what you want you can send the picture to me on this phone number you are seeing on your screen or if i upload what you want you can just screenshot it and send the picture to me on whatsapp thank you so back to the tutorial you can see that i'm almost done with the half of the front section here too i continue by using three strands of here but i make sure i'm not ventilating closer to the line that come with the net because i want to use my hair for the edges so i'm leaving like half inches below that line that come with the net so i have to fast forward this part because i don't want this video to be too long as you can see here i'm almost done with the old ventilation but i'm leaving like half inch closer to the line that comes with the net so i continue the air ventilation here by using three strands so you can see here that there is a line that faces the camera vertically so i'm following the slanted line so i have to fast forward the remaining parts because i don't want this video to be too long and ventilation is the same once you know how to pass your paint through the net and bring out the air you don't have any problem so i'm done with the ventilation here it's remaining the parts that i want to use the human hair to ventilate here so i've ventilated the half part of the natural hairline here and i'm trying to show you the difference between the one that has natural hairline and the one that does not have hair to achieve a natural hairline we are going to change the strand of hair we have been using from the beginning so instead of using three strands we are going to change it to one strand so that we can have that natural hairline the reason why i'm using my hair for the hairline is because this particular full lace is for a braided wig so i want the hairline to look natural as possible and when i 
lay the edges i want it to be natural as possible as well and the owner asked me to use the air blend for the oil ventilation because she might want to install it directly instead of the braided wig or she might want to change the style any time she wants so that's why she asked me to use the air blend for the whole wig before the end of this video i'm going to show you how it looks like when i finally braid it and i'm done with your ventilation here so i'm trying to show you the back section and how the inside looks like the next thing is to place it back on the mannequin head then use my straightener to straighten it and i make sure that the straightener is not too hot because we are working with airplanes not human hair And this is how it looks like when I'm done straightening it. You can see how soft it looks like. You can install it directly on your head. And I'm trying to show you here to see how neat the airline looks like when I'm braiding it. So the next video will be on how to make a braided wig. And the next video after the braided wig will be on how to make this afro wig with fronta. We have come to the end of this video. So if you gain one or two things from this video, please give this video a thumbs up to help this channel out. Drop a comment if you have any question. Share with your friend and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop another video. See you in my next video. Bye.